In this tutorial, I will show you how to insert footnotes into a Microsoft Word document. As always, if you find this content useful, please consider giving it a like as it really does help support the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Microsoft Word. I've got some dummy text here in my Word document. And what I want to do is to add some footnotes. To do this, you need to click in the document where you want the footnote citation to be inserted. I'll add mine to the end of my first paragraph. Then to insert the footnote, go to the References ribbon at the top and choose Insert Footnote. When you do this, you will notice Word has added a number one citation to signify this is a footnote and included an area at the bottom of the page where you can expand on the footnote. Simply add your accompanying text here. Additionally, when you mouse scroll over the citation within the text, Word will display the connected footnote as a pop-up. If you'd like to add more footnotes, then you simply repeat the processes I've just explained. Again, select another area and then go to References, Insert Footnote. This will then place a number two citation here since this is the second footnote on this page, as well as a new line in the footnote area below. By default, Word uses numbers as the citations for footnotes, but you can change this if you so wish. To do this, simply right click on the area at the bottom of the page where the footnotes are, then go to No Options. Then in the Format area, use the drop down menu to change the number format, or you can use your own custom mark below. Then click Apply to update your settings. If you decide that you want to remove a footnote from your document, then the best way to do this is to delete the citation within the text. For example, I'll delete my second footnote here by highlighting it and pressing delete on my keyboard. Doing this will also remove the connected text at the bottom of the page. So that's an overview of footnotes. Now let me quickly talk about endnotes, which are a variation of a footnote. Footnotes are typically placed at the bottom of the page, whereas an endnote is placed at the end of a document. For example, as you can see, the footnote I have just added earlier is at the bottom of my first page. If I scroll down to my second and final page, Notice there is nothing at the bottom. If I scroll back up, I'll now add an endnote to demonstrate their use. To do this, as with adding a footnote, simply click on an area where you want the endnote to be placed. I'll do this at the end of my third paragraph. Then go to References, Insert Endnote. As before, you can enter the text for the endnote. Now notice where this has been placed. This endnote has been placed at the end of my document, unlike a footnote which is placed on the same page as the citation. Again, if you right click on the endnote and go to No Options, you can tweak the settings such as the location, layout and format. If you're using footnotes and endnotes within the same document, then I recommend selecting a different format for both so the user can understand the different citations. Lastly, before I finish, I just wanted to point out that if you have a mixture of footnotes and endnotes within the same document, you can select the convert button here to convert the notes. The first option will convert all footnotes to endnotes. The second option will do the opposite. And the third option will swap the footnotes and endnotes around. So this is just something to keep in mind as you may want to do this in the future. And with that, that brings me to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, you have learned how to insert footnotes as well as endnotes to a Microsoft Word document. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.